good evening students my name is vijay gupta and you are watching biology classes students in this lecture of biology today i am going to start a new topic for you that is a botanical garden botanical garden is a type of taxonomic ad in my last video as i described that taxonomic ad is a procedure or a technique or any type of material which helps in the identification of organism is called as a taxonomic ad so in last last video i told you about a very important taxonomic ad that was herbarium in which the collection of dried plants takes place now in this video i am going to tell you about the next but uh, taxonomic ad that is botanical garden so first of all what is botanical garden i want to tell you with the help of definition so the definition of a botanical garden is a botanical garden is a place it is a place where plants are cultivated the place where plants are cultivated by the man for scientific educational research that may be scientific research or for educational research and ornamental plants purpose sorry ornamental purpose so the botanical garden is a place where different kinds of a wide variety of plants are grown for the study purpose for uh, for the research purpose and for the ornamental purpose it was the definition of a botanical garden in a botanical garden there are several plants are grown that may be ornamental or may be medicinal or may be rare species also so in these gardens the plants grows like this as i made a plant and just below the plant a tag or a level is present on which the local name of the plant is mentioned and after that the botanical name or the scientific name of the plant is mentioned and finally the family of the plant now suppose that with an example it is a mango tree it is the mango tree so in this level as you can see on the screen in this level the local name is mango or aam in hindi the botanical name is mangifera indica and the family of mango is anacardiaceae these three important things are mentioned on the level first one is the local name or the name the second one is the botanical name or scientific name and finally the family so these are the three important points which are mentioned in in this level so it was the an local outline sorry an introduction about the botanical garden now now i will tell you about the characteristics of a botanical garden what are the important key point in the botanical garden so the first point is here i write some important points about the botanical garden so the first one is these specialized gardens have the collection of living plants for reference as i described in the herbarium the collection of dead plants in herbarium the collection of dead plants takes place while in the botanical garden the collection of living plants takes place it is the most important difference between a herbaria and the botanical garden so in the botanical gardens living plants are collected for the identification purpose now the next is plant species in these gardens are grown for identification purpose it is a, a almost similar point that plant species in these gardens the plant species are grown for the identification purpose suppose that you don't know about any plant you can easily identify it if you can if you visit a botanical garden that what is the name of this plant what is the family of this plant so these botanical garden helps in the identification of different living plant species now the next is each plant is labeled indicating its botanical name and its family as i told you before that each plant each plant consists of a level just before below the plant there is a level indicating its botanical name and its family on which the local name botanical name family is mentioned now the next point is it is normally open to the public anyone can visit you can easily visit in the botanical garden with your friends and family so it is normally open to the public includes a wide variety of ornamental plant as different kinds of ornamental plants beautiful plants are present in the botanical garden so people are very interested to visit different uh, kinds of botanical garden to see the beautiful plants so due to the ornamental plants people can visit people visit the botanical gardens now the next is it is also an inspiration for general public as we are the 
scientist or students or a botanist so we uh, definitely we have the interest in the botanical gardens in botany and in plants but most of the time the normal public uh, do not have any type of interest in plant but if they visit the botanical garden it may be possible that they will create a, an interest in the plant life so it is also an inspiration for general public okay to create their interest in plant life so it was the point the interesting point was next is it also includes greenhouses sometimes uh, in most of the times in a botanical garden there is a greenhouse is present greenhouse means a house which is made up of glass uh, consisting walls and roof in which some special types of plants are kept which required ultimate conditions like low temperature or high temperature humidity and different kinds of they protect they also protect different kinds of pathogens etc etc so these are known as greenhouses a small library may present in the botanical garden for the study purpose about these plants a herbarium the dry collection of the plants of the botanical garden may store in a herbaria so herbaria may a herbarium may also present in a uh, botanical garden now the research laboratories for the research purpose in a botanical garden research laboratories are also established so these are the characteristics of a botanical garden now after that i would like to tell you about the significance of botanical garden what is the significance of botanical garden the first one is taxonomic studies as i dis described before that botanical garden is an is an important tool for the identification of the plants so it provide different kinds of flora uh, different kinds of seeds fruits flowers so it will help in the taxonomic studies now the point number 2 is botanical research it also provide a research material for the students and scientists also next is conservation the botanical gardens consist of many rare species so it helps in the conservation of living species now the last is education education uh, this botanical garden or any botanical garden provide different kinds of facilities of different courses for the students such as plant breeding horticulture etc etc so these are the significance of a botanical garden now i want to tell you about some important botanical gardens of india and world so there are some important names which are given on the screen as you can see that number 1 is royal botanical garden q england so it is the most important name for your syllabus for your exam that is royal botanical garden q england next is new york botanical garden it's situated in new york usa next jardim botanical garden brazil next is royal botanical garden sydney australia and number 5 finally montreal botanical garden it is situated in canada now i will tell you about the some, some important indian botanical garden so number 1 is indian botanical garden havra west bengal next is mbri national botanical research institute it is situated in lucknow up next state botanical garden shillong next state botanical garden masuri next is shalimar garden shrinagar and lal bag botanical garden bangalore so these are some important names of the botanical garden which are present which are established in the world and in india now in this video i told you about the botanical garden that is a taxonomic ad about the characteristics of botic botanical garden and finally i told you about the significance of botanical garden and some important names of botanical garden in world and in india so i think everything is clear to you if you have any type of confusion query or question then you may ask in the comment section so in the next lecture i'll tell you about the next taxonomic act that may be a zoological park or a museum so thanks for watching have a good day